Sarah and I are having a baby. It's been coming for almost eight months now, and it's scheduled to arrive at the end of February. Eight months is a long time. It's two thirds of a year. Plenty of time for planning, but the truth is, I still feel monumentally unprepared. And it's not like I don't have plenty of experience as a dad. I mean, I'm a dog dad, a cat dad, and a stepdad. But I ain't never been no baby dad. There's a lot to know, and I still have so many unanswered questions. Like, what will the baby look like? If it's anything like Sarah and I's face swap, we may have to keep it in the basement. Can you snort prenatals? Why or why not? We're scheduled for a C-section, but if I insist on a water birth, can we still do both? What kind of gown will they give me at the hospital? Can I make my own? If so, it'll be denim. How involved do they expect me to be with the operation? Should I hold one of the utensils? If so, which one? Is it like a fork? Since it's a Mardi Gras baby, should I throw beads at it? Do they just print the birth certificate in the operating room? What happens if they switch my baby with some other bobo kid? How soon can I ask the baby to start contributing financially? Will I ever get eight hours of uninterrupted sleep again? And that's just a few of the things that have crossed my mind. I found other answers by reading baby books, pamphlets, and blog posts. And while they've helped me understand what to expect in each trimester, the feeling that I'm in over my head still looms in the distance. And maybe I won't fully grasp everything until I'm sort of forced to. I guess that's how most people figure this type of shit out. Speaking of that, we're thinking about using cloth diapers instead of the non-biodegradable ones. There's the obvious benefits like cost savings and the fact that it's less wasteful. But it kind of makes me feel like I'm purposefully making it harder on myself. But I can deal with all that. What scares me the most is that I just won't know what to do. From what I've read, babies aren't very self-reliant. The same cry could mean any number of things. Wham wham, I'm hungry. Wham wham, I'm tired. Wham wham, my diaper needs changing. Wham wham, just pass me to the other parent because you just don't know what the fuck you're doing. How will I tell the difference? At least there are some things that I do know. Mirabelle is psyched to be a big sister. Sarah is a wonderful mother and can guide me in times of confusion. My kids will always know that I love them unconditionally. And if things do get too stressful, Uncle Merlet is always around to help. Hmm, I feel better. Now I just have to hope it's not gonna be one of those kids that can talk to ghosts. I've got enough to worry about. I'll be fine. Right?